Are there any particular snacks you like? I can get started with... Oh! Noel! B? What happened? Is there something I can help you with? Quinn! He's ignoring me again! But take your time, no rush. I'm here to help. I... noticed Quinn was in a bad mood, so I wanted to call him over for a chat. And a date, I guess. Oh, a d date? So it's that kind of a problem? Yes. I've been over to him several times today already. But no matter how hard I try to make conversation, he just focuses on a stall and ignores me completely. Noelle, everyone in Mondstadt thinks you're really cute. You must be really popular, right? Can you help me out? Ah, uh, of, of course. It's a maid's responsibility to help the residents of Mondstadt. It's just, I... I don't have any experience in this area. <sighs> Even Noelle can't help me. Oh, please, don't worry, I... Oh, we also have the honorary knight here. Honorary knight, can you help me? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. But as a maid of Pavonius, I can't stand idly by when people are in need. I'll do some serious planning and make sure we can have a day off together another time. Indeed. But today, can you help B come up with a solution? Oh, thank you. Okay. B said that Quinn always seems busy and ignores everything she says. But I know that she's often looking for small talk with Quinn. That's a possibility. In other words, we just need to make Quinn realize that this time is different. For example, by sending him a little gift. Even Quinn would notice the difference a gift would bring. But what kind of gift? Hmm. Are you sure? I still feel the choice of gift matters, no matter what kind of relationship two people share. But I don't have any experience in this area. I'm sure you're right. Then if the gift doesn't matter, the choices are limitless. Oh, I can't decide. Do you have any ideas? Hmm. Huh. Will this really get his attention? Oh, okay then. In that case, let's head to Good Hunter and have a look. How am I ever going to get Quinn to listen to me? Uh, Mondstadt grilled fish? For Quinn? I have often said that I would bring him lunch. Would this really work? Hmm. Well, since it's Noelle's recommendation, I'll give it a try. Oh, I hope Quinn understands Bee's intentions. And I hope we were a help this time. Oh, apologies, by the way. I said we would take a break and ended up bothering you instead. Oh, if you're peckish, just let me know. I can whip something up for you right away. Oh, sorry. Old habits die hard. I 
You know, I, I'm still a little worried about how B is doing. Today's recommendation. There's no is... stopping you once you're concerned about someone, huh? Come on, then. Let's see how she's doing. Huh. B? Oh, hi, Noel. So, <clears throat> did you get a a date with Quinn? <sighs> I barely want to talk about it. I hadn't even given him the Mondstadt grilled fish when he muttered something about not having an appetite and not wanting to eat. I can't force him to eat, can I? Looks like I'll just have to try to ask him out some other time. I, I must apologize. Next time, I'll help you find a much better gift. No need. It should be me apologizing. I was worried and dumped everything on you. It's obvious, thinking about it now. Noelle can't be good at everything. Oh. It's okay. This isn't your fault. I don't blame you. I... I have to get going. Oh, please. Take care. I'm... I'm fine. It's just... I feel bad that I couldn't help be. You're not wrong, but if I give up so easily, then the next time someone needs help, I'll mess up again. I may not know much about this sort of thing, but at the very least, I should try to learn something about it. I'm... I'm going to the Knights of Avonia's library. There must be some guidance there on the subject of love. The next time I encounter a situation like this, I'll be able to help. Can Noelle really handle a subject as big as love by herself? We should head to the library and see how she's doing. Today's recommendation... I... don't want to add to... Since you've already noticed, I guess I can let you lend a hand. Ah, so that's how it works. When you meet the person who inspires your affections, you have to find a way to do things together with them. Hmm. Even if I'm not old enough to drink, I should still learn to discuss the different qualities of wine. I see. So you need to know how to make yourself interesting, to draw people's attention. Ah! Oh, so... Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I was deep in concentration. I borrowed every book on love from the library that I could find. When I finished reading them, I'll finally be able to give decisive recommendations for next time. Even if it is me. Well, let's see. For example, Vera's Melancholy, Heart of Clear Springs... Well, all of them contain detailed records of the experience of love. As a maid, my experience leaves a lot to be desired. So I found the quickest way was to take examples from the classics. There's also a guide to tavern chat and shortcuts to love. These are much more practical in nature. And of course, there are even books that focus on theories of love. And then there's this one. This book's about... Mm, hmm. Hmm? N no Nothing! This book... It's too early to read this book. L let's look at another one. You have to learn the basics first, after all. Uh, so this book is about... Huh? S same as that one? Guess this must be a pretty... common topic. <sighs> Looks like I still have a lot to learn.
Phew! <laughs> All these books have got my heart racing. I think I should take a break and do something else to distract myself. Then again, perhaps I should finish this one first. Just the one, right? <laughs>